you're talking about. <laughs> What's your 10 and chewy cup? So, uh, give me, um, how about we go two bucks for both? Okay. Chewy cup I'll throw in. I'll take two bucks for the table. <laughs> okay. Have you been busy this morning? Unbelievably busy. Really? There were people here when it was 7 o'clock. Is that right? <laughs> this is bizarre. What? <laughs> I bought it a few years ago on a whim. It's an Italian wine bottle. Oh, okay. That's all I know about it. It's from the 70s, and it had, I think, a uh, cheap Italian wine. I just thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> what are you asking for it? Seven dollars. <laughs> like I told that other lady, you could be the only person that you know that has one of those. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it's unusual. I've never seen anything like it. We had a, uh, a tall green, and I'm talking tall, from the ground to here. It was a green elephant and his trunk was stretched out, and it was 32 inches tall. And it was a, uh, it was a Lambrusco or Chiani bottle, Italian wine bottle that my wife sold last year. Uh -huh. And we always buy them, and we're always, we don't put them out to display. We end up just, you know, kind of moving it on. And she's like, you're getting rid of your chicken? I said, <laughs> yeah. That way I can go get something else that's on, you know? Right. Oh, this is me. Ah, my demi loon. You're not gonna take the chicken? No. <laughs> Alright. This Our... has got the two fold up wings and a drawer. I've only been able to find one like it um, on the internet. There are others similar, but it's it goes by a lot of different names. 
some call it a crescent table, some call it a demi -lune. Oh, like a moon, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. All right, thank you. Good luck. Have a good day. You too. Okay, so at the first sale, what I ended up getting was this Chewbacca little cup here. It was uh, put out by Denny's. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And then I got this tin here by Hungry, Hungry Jack Pillsbury. And so I paid $2 for both pieces. And then that is the back. So yeah, I think all my friends beat me out to this sale because I kept hearing around how everyone had already been to this sale. So I think I got to this one a little bit late, but I still managed to find something. So I was happy about that. Okay, everybody, I am here with Travis today and he says he has a surprise for me. So I do. I we do. met up and look, we're wearing the same shirt. I have to turn the camera on so you guys can see. Sporting our thrift <laughs> lines. What's up, Pam and Ryan? <laughs> Hopefully everybody can see that. I've never turned around like that. All right, so the story is, I was at an estate sale and I was ahead of these people and they were talking trash like hey there's this lady locally and like <laughs> she has her YouTube station and um, she's into jewelry but I was there before her and I ended up getting this whole like bin of jewelry and I beat her out to it <laughs> and I'm hearing this and I'm like all right I know who they're talking about because Tanya is like one of the only people in the area that has a YouTube station that does jewelry so I knew who it was and so I walk into the freaking um the estate sale he said he was first in line i was like i wasn't first i was like at the, i was at the front of the line i'm not gonna say first but i was at the <laughs> front and you know for i guess they keep the jewelry by the the cash register or whatever for yeah. protection or whatever yeah and so there's like these two bins of jewelry and i knew that they were gonna go for it and i'm like wait a second now we're gonna have some <laughs> freaking karma for <laughs> um YouTube karma or 3D Treasures karma going on. I just love him. This is so great. And, and, and so, so I pick up both bins, but I didn't look at the bins because I know nothing about jewelry. And so I, I pick up the bins and I'm waiting for these people to walk in because I know they're going to go for the jewelry because they were talking about jewelry. <laughs> and so, boom, I'm holding it and I'm just waiting there. I'm stalling. I'm like, I'm going to let these people walk in and see this jewelry. And sure enough, they walk in and there was a couple, but the, the guy went somewhere else. It was the lady. And the lady looks at looks at down the jewelry. She looks up to me. It's like, are you gonna buy all this jewelry, or are you just looking through some pieces? Are you gonna put it down so other people can look? Right. I'm like, no, actually, I know nothing about jewelry, but I'm gonna <laughs> buy all of it, even though I know nothing about it, because I happen to be a viewer of Thrifty Treasures and Tanya, who you were just talking about, <laughs> and you beat them out on. Oh. You said you beat her out on the jewelry. So guess what? Now she has a story to tell her viewers about how <laughs> she beat you out on this jewelry. <laughs> and her face just dropped. Oh. And I, I don't know, she was, I, I, I'd say she's like 70, 80 years old, but you could tell, you know, that's what she came for was the jewelry, I think. Oh. <laughs> but she shouldn't talk trash, she never knows who's listening. Right, oh gosh, that's so uh, true. So, I don't know how much, and I, I didn't look through all this, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh my gosh, there is. And there's like, I don't know, there's That's watches, exciting. cufflinks, there's whatever you want to do with it. Um, I'm kind of scared to watch your station and you tell me you found <laughs> something worth like a thousand dollars or whatever. Oh my gosh. But that is yours wow. and that is your viewer, Karma. Wow, thank you, Travis. What do I owe you for all of this? Nothing. You don't owe me nothing. No way. No, it's free. It's oh my free. gosh. Oh, okay, I guess, is this still on? Uh, I think so, yes. If it's still on, the reason why I'm giving all this to Tanya to go through on her <laughs> station is because I bungled it and I listened to John and Lonnie and RVA Flips, Justin, and all that I learned from their stations. And I bundled it with a deal for this. And if y'all don't know what this is, you can do your little comp search, but this is a Niton Alloy Analyzer. Oh, that sounds fancy. It, it comes complete. It's got a. It's like a gun that you stick out of it. Oh but my goodness! Go ahead and look this thing up, and you'll see the comps are anywhere between two thousand to five thousand dollars. Holy cow! And I got it for twenty bucks at the same sale that I got that. Wow! What is it like a taser gun or something? No, it like you shoot it at like you shoot it, and it 
it like analyzes the metals. Like it can tell you like if it's oh alloy analyzer. Yeah, like it'll tell you what kind of metal it is, the density, what kind of potency. That is, it is. so cool. Yeah, and it has a spirit battery, the charger, all the paperwork and everything. Oh wow, twenty five dollars. Twenty bucks, everything, because we couldn't. He hadn't charged it for a while, and he didn't know if it worked. Okay. It works. It works. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, well, because it's, it's a case, it's a Pelican case, and which is a really good case anyway. And I said, hey, well, the case alone's worth some money. I'll take a chance on it. Yeah, definitely. And that's cool. Know. So, all right. Now here's a surprise I got for John, and we're gonna ruin the surprise. But John's John, the busy. Cincinnati picker. <laughs> all right. So this literally has John's name written all over. Oh yeah, he likes baseball bats for sure. This is from 30s and the 40s, okay? But look, it's from Cincinnati. Oh my gosh, right? oh, perfect. And it literally, what does it say? John. John. It's so meant to be. This is meant to be his. So he will be having this. He's going to freak out. He's going to love that. Yeah. That and is so cool. I ain't going to lie, John. I did comp it out. And I know it is worth some bucks, but it literally, man, it has your name written all over it. So it's going towards you. Wow. It's heavy, too. Yeah. It's from the 30s and 40s, apparently. That is really cool. This is something that I always pass up. Like, I just don't even think to look at baseball bats when I go to estate sales and garage sales. I always did the same as you until I learned from John to look for the... Right. Here, it's heavy. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, he's going to love that. I'll help you carry this jewelry. Oh, yeah. Oh, this has been so much fun. So, are you going to be my guy? Can, like, you be my jewelry guy? And, like, I'll pay you? No, I have a guy now. You have a guy? A guy. <laughs> I'm feeling like, uh, like Lonnie now, right? Lonnie's yeah. got his guy. Lonnie's with got all, a guy. With all his toys and stuff. I have a guy that does, um, what is it? That he did, he buys the containers and he buys like storage auctions and stuff. Okay. And he um, he says, look, I just gotta I just gotta keep flipping. I gotta yeah. keep going. I gotta keep going. And so like any like toys, stuff like that, sporting goods, die cast. I got a whole crap load of die cast cars. <laughs> like literally, he had like 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 the big big bins, like oh the stuff gosh. that um, Justin keeps all of his stuff organized in those type of bins. I got three bins of die cast cars. Oh my goodness! And I paid him like two dollars each, and I'll probably lot them all together and sell them as one big. Yeah. You know, I'll either do it locally as like a trade, yeah, like through offer up or something, and get something cool from it. There's a big or, collector's market, I would imagine, for those little cars like that. Yeah, it, they don't have the boxes though. They're free. They're, I don't know. They're solo. Yeah. But you'll put them on a, a glass case or something on the shelf or whatever. But still, for $2 each. Yeah. And they're all vintage. They're not like the newer ones. They're like the, the actual metal. Yes. That are like from the 70s and yeah. 80s or something. I, I know a very little about it, but I know the metal ones are good because my husband, I've heard him talking about them before, the Hot Wheels and stuff. Yeah. So, well, I don't know. Did you want to plug your future channel? Well, I'm going to be uh, starting my YouTube station. It's called Barter Mania. And the reason why it's called Barter Mania is because <laughs> I, I've been doing this since like 2006, flipping. I was with, I was an original Craigslister when yeah. Craigslist was pretty good. <laughs> now it's all scams and Nigerian email bullshit. Right? <laughs> exactly. But yes, I'm sorry. You can believe that. <laughs> um, so now I use OfferUp and then I'm going to start up on eBay. And yeah. I'm going to start a YouTube, you know, doing whatever. And it's going to be Barter Mania because back in 06, Fox News was doing a, did a story on me um, about things that I was doing with bartering. And yeah, that's so cool. News, I'd so love to see it. So I'm going to do that as one of my intros for the station, and then I'll just go from there. What about for the time being? Is there a place where people can follow you or check you out, like Instagram or? I don't get on much anymore. I, I know I need to. I'm just been yeah. So busy you got to do the like, social thing. I'm kind of getting my my notes. <laughs> I'm getting my uh, what. Uh, <laughs> YouTube for Dummies uh, Cliff Notes from uh, the trifecta, or I use um, you, uh, Thrifty Treasures, Thrift Mine, Cincinnati Picker, Lonnie, or Lowball Lonnie, however we want to call it, <laughs> at Garage Flips, and then RVA Flips with Justin. Those are like my go to's. Yeah. Anymore, and all I, won't great get, I won't be able to go shopping or I do know. anything. It's so hard. Like, I don't even get to watch all the people that I love to watch either all the time because yeah. life is busy. Right, so just kind of to squeeze it in every now and then. And, and I mean, I, I hate to say it, but like I'm so new, like I know that it doesn't take just two seconds to create your film 
and edit it and do everything else. Yeah. It takes time to make it somewhat appealing so people will actually watch it and not get bored. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so true. It's it's a constant yeah. struggle to try and keep it fresh and you know wanting people to watch. But at least you got all the reseller stuff down, right? Yeah. So, I do have a good eye and yeah, I've learned a lot from for a long time. So it's just a matter of putting it all together and you know kind of I'm gonna have to take some cliff notes on like the, I think I'm listening they said something like iMovie or there's different like mm -hmm. like apps or something that you can use to make a good YouTube movie. Yeah do you have like an iPhone? Yeah. Yeah I just use iMovie on my iPhone or you can use um do you have a MacBook? You can just you can use iMovie on your phone. That's how I make all my videos. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then I gotta invest. Is this the seven? The Hero This 7? one's a seven, but it's worth it. Yeah. I'm yeah. Thinking about getting one of those. I'll either go on Craigslist and find one used, or um, yeah. Yeah. And for me, I don't want to pay full price. I always look for a deal. Yeah, you know? I don't blame you one bit. But I, I feel like they're definitely worth it. I mean, it's totally changed my channel as far as like the quality. Whenever I go garage selling, because before I was just using my iPhone. And it was just very limited view, but with this, it gives kind of like a more, like a broader, wider view uh, that makes sense. angle, so you can see more. Because people were saying they couldn't see what I was looking at on the table and whatnot, but yeah. you know, it gives it pans it out instead of being so focused. It'll, yeah. it'll do the whole table at once. Yeah, but I mean, if you need any help or have any questions, I can definitely help you with that. I need to like if I ever see one that's a, like a crazy deal on jewelry, I need to like send you like a message like we did yeah, today. Yeah, I'll give you my yeah. phone number. Yeah. Here's my address, or here's the address. You need to go to this one if you have the time or whatever. Yeah, I'll give you my phone number because I don't always check my I don't get notifications for Facebook messages uh -huh. because um, I just can't have that constant dinging. <laughs> you that's know? true. I can imagine. Yeah, so um, I just um, I'll give you my number and you can. He's gonna be my jewelry guy, you guys. So I'm totally going to pay him. I can't, can't, you would tell you why I can't do jewelry. It's, it, it's, it's as crazy as this. I went to one sale, like maybe a couple months back. And I swear, these old ladies are crazy. <laughs> they get on this table. We are. We are you all are. crazy. You, you're, like, you're like vultures or something going for one more piece of jewelry. And like they throw elbows, people. <laughs> That's right. You better watch I out. I think you have to wear like a mouth guard Wear or protective something. gear. Yes. Yes. So Safety like, first. I'll end, up, like, I'll end up getting a yelling match with you know, some lady that's like 80 years old. Yes. And it's like, I will, the person won't sell anything to me because I'm the one getting on to this yes. crazy lady that's throwing <laughs> elbows, you know? So I don't, and I don't know enough about it. And yeah. I know that you're supposed to look for certain things and I. I, I don't just, know, uh, you know, I don't know everything. And even the stuff I do know, I forget from time to time. So it's new again. So. But you know what sells because you've been doing it for so long. Yeah, and it's just a lot of fun. I especially like how small it is and it's easy to store. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Yeah. It's portable. If I'm going out of town and I want to list a few pieces, I can just bring it with me. That's true. So, in case you can go on a road trip and just throw right? it in the back of here and be wherever. Yes, I love that about it. It's really small. So, but I just can't believe we're both wearing our Thrift Mind shirts today. We did not plan as, this, you guys. As planned. Yeah, we're twinsies <laughs> on accident here. <laughs> It might have to be my thumbnail. I am going to get a third generation mug from Lonnie, though. I, you, you can count on that. Yeah, I'll put a good word in for you. Yeah, I know. You better put extra padding so it doesn't chip like the. How about we'll just say this I'm going to get you one. Don't worry about it. Yeah. All okay, right. yeah. I'll take you up on that. Yeah, definitely. I'll hook you up. Yeah. Well, I'm off and running like a moth to the to the light. I'm finding exactly. sales. I was worried you wouldn't show up on time because you were going to get distracted by all the signs. Oh, no, there really wasn't that many. I've been getting off till such a late start lately. You guys always beat me. i got to get up earlier, but I've got kids to get off. and Yeah, I rolled not... out, and I, I learned the hard way around here. It's pretty crazy. People show up early, and they don't give a crap what the start yeah, time is. Yeah, I'm going to go early tomorrow. You can bank on it. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when I'm I'm right in front of you in line for someplace. I'm I'm gonna yell at you. I'm going straight for the jewelry, Tanya. Right. I'm so okay. happy when I ran into you that one time or the first time, and you said, you know, why aren't you recording? And I'm so glad I did because people enjoyed that sale. Yeah. And I, you know, I did find some jewelry pieces. I what? found a really good jewelry piece. As a matter of fact, that I have listed for like three hundred dollars. Was it that copper one that had the wiring or something? N no, that one's really cool though. I love that one, but it was the one that was kind of like a snake piece. And I forget the maker of it right now, or the, the name brand on it, but um, oh, I've got it listed for like $300 or best offer just because it's yeah. a really rare piece and yeah. I don't see one like it. 
Wow. But, um, and you know what the funny thing about it is she just gave it to me. I was like, I'm not sure how this works. She's like, I'm not either. Just take it. Wow. So, so it was a throw in. It was a throw in. I know you got those free. two like fossil bags or something. That ran yeah. There. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. So okay. thanks for that. That's what, in fact, if you go back to the video, you see how fast I was talking and I didn't want to cut you off. Like I wanted you to hurry up and get there. Yeah. Cause I knew like famous words of Tanya, the price was right. Yeah. So I knew that that sale, the price was right. Yeah. I wanted to hurry up and get in there. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, hey, I don't want to keep you. Right. All right. Well, thank uh, you so much. Good seeing you. Uh, we'll stay in touch. Like yeah. This. I mean, I'm not going to be a stalker status, but uh, I'll send you a text every once in a while. Yeah, I'll message you my number. Okay. And um, yeah, just you can get a hold of me faster by text. I'll answer faster than I do on yeah. Facebook for sure. I'd imagine you probably get dings all over the place. No, not so much. <laughs> all, right, all right, well, have a good day. Yeah, Thank good you so tomorrow. much. All right, you too. Bye. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is Travis a hoot or what? I'm so excited and so thankful. Thank you so much, Travis. I can't wait to get home and check out all of that jewelry. And um, don't worry, I'm definitely gonna hook you up with a third generation mug from Lottie. And um, I just can't thank you enough. So I really appreciate it. And I'm hoping you'll be my jewelry guy from now on because I will totally pay you. <laughs> um, and what else was I gonna say? Uh, so stay tuned and be looking for Travis's YouTube channel coming out. I'm sure I'll keep you guys posted as to when he actually um, gets it up and running so that we can all go subscribe to him. He's a really good guy. So, um, yeah. Okay, I've had a chance to go through all of the jewelry and I'm super excited. So thank you so much, Travis. So I was just gonna share some of the pieces here with you guys. So I feel like there's definitely a lot of pieces here that I can, uh, sell on eBay and or Etsy and also there are a lot of pieces that I can sell in my antique booth as well. So I'm just going to kind of go over here's a real pretty pair of earrings. We have an old shell uh, looks like some kind of a pendant maybe a key ring. Um, we have two of these I think these are like scatter pins. There are two of them. They're kind of large for scatter pins but I think they're just gorgeous. And I believe these are called uh, sweater clips. So you've got like a little crown here with a little sword. I don't think this piece is marked, but it's still gorgeous. And this clamper bracelet here, it's gold and it's got this flower on it with these real pretty purple stones inside. And then we have this like, kind of like a locket type thing. And I don't know, I think maybe at one point it might have had Oh, look, and it has some butterflies too, maybe like a compact or perhaps like a pillbox maybe. I think there used to be a mirror right there, like a pocket mirror for your purse or something. Um, so then just, and then some little vintage poodle brooches, a real pretty green one. And here is a uh, sand dollar brooch. This is by, and I recognize this name because I've sold these pieces before. Starts with an M. Is it Meltzer? Something like that. I can't make it out right now. But yeah, really pretty piece. Love that sand dollar. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, uh, this piece is real interesting. Now this piece here is actually marked 14 karat gold. Uh, not this piece in particular, but the actually the chain that it's on. Let me see if I can find and show you guys. But it's not, and unfortunately. In the jewelry world, this does happen from time to time. I don't know if like thieves market or what they do, but it is marked 14K in several places, Italy. And um, the whole thing is magnetic. And just not, not only the rope, but also the uh, clasp uh, closure to the parts where it actually says 14K. But it happens, um, so you'll see that from time to time. And this is really neat. I think this is like a lighter holder. I think it's meant to hold a lighter or maybe lipstick or something. Um, it's some kind of metal. It's not silver, but it has this really pretty stone on it here. Love that piece. Oh, and before I forget, I am wearing one. Where is it at? Right there, this ring is um, alpaca on my pinky there. And I just thought it was so neat. So I'm wearing that one. Um, and here are some neat clip earrings. They're actually 
Queen Elizabeth. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's a neat pair and a whole bunch of neat clip-ons. There's actually some um, Coco Chanel pieces here. This one has the clip earrings along with the matching necklace as well. Um, I don't think that they're real. I really don't know. It seems like, I think if they were real, they might have a little bit more weight to them, but they're really lightweight. But uh, nevertheless, they're stunning. They're gorgeous, I love them. Um, so, and then all of these real pretty ones are clip earrings as well. Um, here is another Coco Chanel. I think I have the matching one for that somewhere. Oh, here it is. It's like mix and match. So, and then these are marked. I think these are marked. Let me look. Yeah. You can kind of see it's marked there. So let me know if you guys think those are real or not. And I can always clean those up good. Uh, and then here's another pair too. Also clip earrings. This pair isn't marked though. No branding on that one. Um, this is a neat little cuff bracelet. Um, I couldn't make out exactly what it said, but I think it's, I wanna say it's kind of like a souvenir bracelet, like a little cuff. Um, we got a whole little pile of rings here. I haven't gone through them individually just yet. I was kind of just sorting them. But um, some really pretty stuff here. We got a real pretty gold one with a pearl. And um, this one, this one's also real pretty. What does that say? Holy. What's that say? Holly, Holly, Holly. I've uh, got some Hoochie Mama earrings. We've got a bunch of goodies in here. This is mainly just fashion jewelry. We got a um, like a wrap bracelet, that memory stuff. And we got some uh, a plastic bangle with some matching earrings. And then another uh, metal cuff. Oh, and this one's really cool. I really like this bracelet. You can definitely tell this one's vintage. Um, it has a penny on there, four-leaf clover, a money sign, some dice, like little checkers, a horseshoe. But yeah, I really like that one. That was really neat. Um, let's see. And some other things. This piece, this is also a really neat bracelet. I meant to get this out so I could show you guys. This one, I feel like this one is also vintage. I can get it to there it goes okay so now this one we've got a really big bird there let's see what else a little face and what is this one is oh a pegasus looks like so really neat bracelet Love that one. Um, then we got some pieces over here for actually making jewelry. Now this piece is really interesting too. Um, this piece here, I just don't even know. I guess it's made of like some kind of enamel and you've got some horse heads there. And I thought these were clowns, but I don't know, maybe they're not. And then here are the matching earrings. So they've got the little horsies on there little horse heads and that and then these are uh, clip back earrings so that's neat and then this box set right here is Avon both the bracelet and the necklace and it kind of remind me of like a abalone but the colors different it's more like a peachy maybe green color and it's marked Avon and then we had a couple watches over here. This is a nice men's cuff. I believe these are cufflinks set. I'm not familiar with that brand, but I'll definitely look it up. Um, let's see what's in this one. This one also had, oopsie, some cufflinks and a tie bar as well. That black enamel. And then here's one more 
here, and these are Don Lopper, Loper. I think that says Beverly Hills. So those are real nice. And let's see what else. Oh, here are all the bracelets, some more of the bracelets, a neat little like copper clamper, and then some bangles. I got my uh, painting right here for my backdrop. <laughs> and this one's also real pretty. I love that one. So let me make sure I got everything to show you guys. Hopefully I showed you guys everything. Um, I can't thank you enough, Travis. I really appreciate you doing this for me. It was so much fun to go through it. Um, I feel confident that I'm gonna be able to sell some of these pieces um, and also keep some for myself. So I really appreciate it. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. My dogs are starting to bark. So please join my jewelry group on Facebook. It's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. We'd love to see you over there. And uh, please subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.